but what lesson should we derive like is it right to listen to people and sacrifice your own family and your own wife because people want moral justice or is it the opposite way like no you should not listen to the people and not to the society but only listen to your wife and your like as because as you rightly said it's very complex for a common man to just understand or differentiate between what's right what's wrong we only look at our you know uh, our ancestors or our religion or the kind of mythology which we have been read or seen we look at those things to derive lessons so when we look at ramayana what is the last lesson like we would want to get you take ramayana and mahabharata ultimately there is only one lesson there is only one dharma your conscience is your god you have to listen to what your heart says whatever you do there will be consequences whether you become rama or whether you become krishna there will be consequences whether you become ravan or duryodhan there will be consequences that is why Uh, in some of the mahabharatas they say that uh, when pandavas go they find uh, duryodhan in the swarga hmm and uh, they say what is this what is this nonsense you did all wrong but uh, the answer given is uh, two answers come one is the total bhakti fan fandom mahabharata where they say that it's a temporary it's a convenient explanation a temporary hai kuch din ke baad wo narak mein chal jayenge aur aap wapas aayenge but other explanation is that he lived as per his this thing he lived as per what he felt right at that point at that point because there is no tool to judge so two ways are there one is the real bhakti marga thing no idam na mama nothing is mine neither the decision is mine so even the results are not mine hmm. i did what is what i felt right at that moment and uh, i with equanimity Situation. with equanimity i will take uh, whether it is successful or is painful rama does this uh, that is one way He has taken some decision and राम जी का जीवन आप देखे तो वो दुख पूर्ण है इट्स टोटली इट्स रियली एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फ्यू इयर्स ही स्पेंड द जॉयस लाइफ विथ सीता इन द बिगिनिंग इन द फोर्टीन ईयर्स बिफोर सीता जी वॉज किडनेप बाई रावण हिज लाइफ इज फुल ऑफ क्राइसिस अप टू द एंड but uh, this is choice to live like that so ram is a tyagamurti he gets elevated because he does all sacrifices is not just from the beginning he does sacrifices you see that no? mm. he wants to give the uh, this thing to bharat uh, he gives away to bharat and walks away for his father he's all his act is for others the polar opposite is krishna that is also another way of living you are untouched so in gita krishna says that no he is he keeps on doing karma he doesn't bother about the results he is untouched by it neither the joy of it nor the sorrow of it affects him mm-hmm. so krishna if you say he is a very practical guy when he wants to run away he runs away when jarasand aate wo ranchod ban jata hai he mm-hmm. runs away he doesn't care <laughs> he doesn't care for what the maryada of the society says He has eight wives and sixteen thousand other wives who rescue who he rescued from Narakasur. In some version, Jayasand, mm. but some version Narakasur. He rescued sixteen thousand and eight wives. His lover is Radha, as per the, at least the medieval versions. He doesn't even go and meet Ashoda after being so close to it. Nothing affects him. In the war, he doesn't care. He, victory only is the we care, and we are left. All the devotees are left. Uh, uh running hither to there trying to justify his actions uh, imagine it it's so fun no he'll be having so much fun no <laughs> he does everything possible to win yeah and now all the devotees are in a quandary somehow they have to justify this all this action vyasa didn't have that problem he wrote it as such so when uh, if you want to kill bishma he brings chikandi if uh, jarasandha i mean jayadratha cannot be killed before sunset uh, he creates an artificial sunset he will say shoot karna when he doesn't have no, the uh, when the his kavach uh, yeah. is not there no kavach indra took uh, uh-huh. but when the chariot was uh, inside the uh, in the mud caught in the mud and when karna doesn't have the bow arrow is trying to lift it uh, shoot him he is saying 
he tells you this to to tell a lie so the indrishas entire life of telling truth was a preparation for telling that lie isn't it if you really think so he mm. doesn't bother about the morality of the society the maryada of the society he does his action and is unaffected by it so when gandhari curses gandhari curses that aapka kul bhi aisa hi vamshanash ho jayega aapka kul bhi aapas mein latke aapas mein maar maar ke aapka pura satyanash ho jayega he takes it with a smile he says that wo to mujhe pata hai mata ji क्योंकि मेरा कर्म तो मुझे भी छोड़ने वाला नहीं है जो कर्म मैं किया हूं मैं भी उससे बंधित हूं hmm. वो कर्म का फल मैं भी भुगना पड़ेगा <laughs>